Traveling here with us is, it's, a, it's kind of an ordeal. It takes a lot of integral parts to kind of put the whole puzzle together. Um, you know, our students and our grad assistants do a tremendous job in getting everything prepared and getting us completely put together so that we can fully function on the road. Myself and uh, Chris Joseph and Ed Woodley are uh, assistant athletic trainers with football. Mary Vanderheiden is our director of sports medicine uh, and also is the head football athletic trainer. Mary does have a lot of different responsibilities on top of just football with being the director of sports medicine and then travel for football and getting meals set up and taken care of and hotel organization and travel organization. So Judd and Ed and myself take on uh, some additional responsibilities in terms of preparing the team and making sure that our, our student athletes are ready to go. Joe Klanicki is our graduate assistant athletic trainer who is also a certified athletic trainer and then we travel with uh, four athletic training students that are in the athletic training program here at UCF and they work with the football team the entire year as part of their senior clinical rotation. So there's nine of us that travel that are athletic trainers. We also travel with two physicians, an orthopedic physician and a sports medicine physician. So all in all, our sports medicine team that travels with us is 11 people to an away game. The process when beginning the packing of the truck begins as soon as we arrive home from the previous game. So the truck gets here the Sunday after the game, we unload everything, everything that comes off of the truck has to be completely disassembled and then reassembled so that we're making sure that we're duplicating everything that's in our athletic training room for our trunks to take on the room. When it comes to packing the trunks, we all take care of packing them and Joe makes sure that every little thing's in there. Uh, he's pretty much the best judge of our attention to detail, so he'll find all these little things that we'll forget and we try to decrease the number of things you forget every time. When traveling, we have a list of everything that we have to take because when we go on the road, essentially we have to take everything that's in our athletic training room and duplicate our athletic training room while we're on the road. So that anything that we can think of that we use here at UCF, we can also use when we're away at other competitor stadiums. We carry four trunks. Each one is loaded with everything from taping supplies, to splints and braces, to crutches, to casting material. So we really carry everything that would possibly be needed. Not only do we need all these tapes and all these pads and supplies, but we have to make sure that they fit into four trunks that have to go onto the same truck as equipment and video. So we have to condense it all, but still have enough to where we can supply a football team with what they need. When we first get to the hotel, we have to set the athletic training room with our modalities. We have two ultrasound machines, a game ready, a bio wave, and two complexes, as well as a foam roller and some stretch bands. And we kind of have to find the best positioning as far as outlets and machine placements so that we can uh, maximize our use of the room. Our athletic training room at the hotel is much more simple than at the stadium. So at the hotel, uh, it's, we're basically just doing some treatments and then we have two equipment bags basically with any of the supplies that we may need to do any just basic treatments at the hotel. And then we have medicine and stuff like that for guys that make it coughs or colds or that kind of thing. Usually the hotel provides a small room that has tables and pillows and towels set up, but then we have to transform that into an athletic training setup. We're definitely ready for anything that may occur anywhere during our travel, whether it's on the plane, the hotel, the stadium. We always have with us anything that we may need, but the training room at the hotel is much less than the stadium. Athletic training students are responsible for all the work prior to us arriving to the stadium on game day. Four athletic training students and I will arrive at the stadium roughly six hours prior to the kickoff and during that time it's when we really do all the preparation for the game. We organize the tables that they give us so that we can fit the taping in a spaced manner so that no one's bumping into each other and guys can walk in and out at the same time. Making sure that the athletic training room is set up so that we have good flow as far as when the athletes are coming in to get tape prior to the game or if they need to get any kind of bracing or any kind of wounds covered. We want to make sure that there's the smoothest transition from everything that's done here in our athletic training room at UCF to how we do things on the road. On top of locker room setup and athletic training room setup on away games, we also have to set up the entire field with their water station, flood kit supplies, and then on top of 
all the tape that we have inside the locker room, we also have a trunk of tape outside on the field. Prior to kickoff, all the athletes arrive and all the full-time staff, including Mary, Judd Fan, Christopher Joseph, and then Ed Woodley, will all begin to tape the athletes' ankles. We get there two hours before a game and we'll start taping and we will tape nonstop for the next hour to hour and 15 minutes to get all 70 guys ready to go. Our students are always an integral part of everything that we do and we try to involve the students as much as possible. Anything that doesn't get done by the full-time staff can also be done by myself or the student athletic trainers so that they can get as much experience in the clinical setting to go out into the real world and be able to duplicate that with their athletes. The sports medicine staff rely heavily on the student athletic trainers and we take that responsibility very seriously and we're excited that we get that opportunity to work with Division One football. At the end of the night it kind of gives you a sense of pride to know that you played a hand in whatever the outcome may be. And I think it uh, adds a little bit of incentive for us to work even harder. Without these students, things would not function as smoothly as they do. And it's the students that are really the heart of how efficiently and effectively everything gets done. 